about. Um, I'm excited to answer questions. I want to do Q and A's here uh, and enjoy that. And then tell some fun stories about the past month. It's been a very busy month uh, for me and my family. And we've had some good times. I'm excited to tell you all about them. We shot the first episode of the Wizard sequel, as a lot of you know, so I'm excited to chat about that. And uh, we went to the Super Bowl, which was a lot of fun. Excited to chat about that. Um, and then what we're doing this year. But first, I'd love to answer some questions and say hello to everyone. Hello, Maya. Hello, uh, Brazil. Hello, um, Taifi. Hello, everyone. Hi, hi, hi. Um, I'm excited to answer some questions and then tell some stories. Uh, but I'll start with a story first. So <laughs> a lot of people have been asking me like, how did this come about? What, tell me, tell me the story of the sequel. How did this all happen? How did it all come about? Talk to me. And um, it really happened uh, in a really organic way, honestly. Um, we, as time passed, we finished the show in 2011 or 2012. I think they stopped airing in 2012. And you know, five, 10 years go by and Selena and I are still super close. I get married, I start having kids. Selena's over hanging out with the family. And we're just talking about the show, talking about our characters. We're just having a, having a good time and we're reminiscing and we're missing it. It was a special time in both of our lives getting to do that. Um, it was like high school, college, and a great job all crammed into one. We were, we were like a real family when we shot it. So it's special memories for Selena and I, and I know the whole cast. And um, we just kept reminiscing as she'd come over, her and my wife got to know each other. They became very good friends. We'd all be drinking wine, which always begets fun conversations, responsibly, of course. And it just started missing our characters. What would this guy be doing? What would that guy be doing? And it, it kept kind of snowballing and it kept growing. And as time went on, we started to realize that kids didn't know the show anymore. Um, a new generation of kid is out there that, that's never experienced the Russos. And so time kept passing, time kept passing. And we said, you know, we felt the Russos meant a lot to the fans. Um, all the, and thank you, by the way, for all the love and the hearts and all that. And what is this, a live? I don't understand how any of this works. What's a live goal? I don't know what this means. Um, anyways, uh, as, as um, where was I? Oh yeah, we started to realize that, the, that there's a whole generation of fan that didn't know the show and we looked at what the show meant to our, our core fan group and we're like, it meant so much to them and oh, thank you for the roses, appreciate it. Don't know what they mean, but thank you. And as, um, as, as we were, discussing just the impact that the show had, we said, well, why, what, what, what about the show was meaningful to everyone? And the number one thing we heard from fans was that we were like an extension of their family. And the thing that really touched Selena and I the most is that, that we were, that we were, um, we were a family that a lot of people didn't have. A lot of folks from broken homes or even people without siblings would come to us and say, you know, you were my brother or sister that I never had, or, or I have a really rough, I have a really rough family and a really rough environment. And the Russos showed me that there, there exists this thing called family, which can always have your back. And I might not have that now, but one day I'm going to, I'm going to try, try to have that. That's powerful stuff. That's, that's powerful stuff. And that's meaningful stuff. And to, to Selena and I, and to, you know, my family, just speaking for myself personally, that, those are themes that mean a lot to me now. Like it just as a family man, like that, that's, that's what I'm trying to do with my family. Thank you for the gummy bears. Appreciate it. Um, uh, Gabby and Margie, thanks for the dinosaur. Um, <laughs> so, uh, we, we just, that meant a lot to me and I wanted to do that again. Wanted to do that again. I wanted to remind the original fan group of, of the Russo love, of the Russo strength in, in, in family. And we wanted to show a whole new generation of kid who hasn't experienced that, who hasn't experienced that love, um, that familial, unbreakable love. We wanted to give them a whole new show. Um, thanks for all the hearts and things, guys. I appreciate you, Jonah, Kubel. All these cool people, hello, shouting you out. Um, so that motivated us deeply to to want to do this again. And it was years in the making, you know, where Selena and I went and talked to Disney years ago. And time passed and it wasn't the right time and, and, and now is the right time. And we're really excited, we're really excited. We have a wonderful team and I 
I can't say too much because I want you guys to watch it, but um, it was those themes that needed to be reborn yet again and told in a new way. Yes, for the original fans, for all of you, and I'm excited. We have so many nuggets and things that are going to evolve uh, that plays into the old show, but in the new one um, that I think you're gonna really dig and it's gonna leave you with a lot of questions and um, excitement. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that. But it's also for a whole new generation to experience the new Russo uh, family. Justin's family has grown. I think you might've seen the press release. Justin has kids now. He's got um, a couple wonderful boys. The family has grown. And um, I don't want to say too much because I want you guys to, to watch it, but uh, it's it's going to be very, very exciting. So that was my little my little preamble here. And um, now I want to answer some some of your questions. And I hope I hope that helped. I hope that helped. I saw this Jake going to be in the reboot. He tweeted the other day, he posted that he wants to be in the reboot. And we want everyone in the reboot. And I've talked to pretty much the whole cast. Um, and they're all excited and willing to be in it as well. So I'm, I'm excited to have them back and see how it goes. I think you guys might've seen in the um, press release that this is just one episode right now. So it's just one, um, but it is going to be, uh, uh, God willing, if we get the series order, it's gonna be a lot more and we'll get to have a lot of fun for, for many years to come. Uh, Venezuela, shout out Venezuela, hello. Uh, when and where, we, we don't know those details yet, but as soon as I know, you guys are gonna know. Uh, will uh, Jennifer be in the reboot? We, again, we would love everyone to be in the reboot. We want every single character to come back. I've had some fun chats with all of the cast, um, and we would love to, we would love everyone to be in the reboot, but we're only done one episode so far, so uh, we can't speak to the rest because they haven't been, they're not all done, and but we want everyone to be, trust me, we want everyone to be in the show. I can't say clearly enough. We want everyone to be in the show. Um, and that's on the forefront of our mind and, and really important to us, so. Um, okay, I wanna answer some questions. Uh, am I speaking Spanish? I'm not speaking Spanish, I apologize. I don't speak, my Spanish is not great. Um, the Wizard World, we would love to go back to the Wizard World. Yes, absolutely, I think they're the once you guys see it, you're going to understand there's, there's things that will be revealed that the original, all, all you guys who watched the original series are going to dig big time um, and we're going to build upon it and it's going to be epic. It's going to be big. Um, okay, someone just asked, the, qu the, the comments are going by so fast. By the way, I love you guys, I love all these comments. These are amazing, but I'm trying to get one at a time. You said final rewatch for the thousandth time. Thank you very much, Colleen, I appreciate that. Um, the whole, is the whole cast coming back, Kelly? Yes, I wanna be very clear, yes, the whole cast is gonna come back at some point in time. Uh, am I gonna be the main character, Big Mouth asked. Um, it takes place within my family. I think what people loved about the original show was that it really was an ensemble. It was, it was a whole family and each character brought something unique and real to the table that people could relate to. And we took that seriously with this new show that it is a new family, it's my family, my wife, my kids. Um, obviously, Selena is gonna be in the show as well. Um, but each character was really carefully thought out and planned. So it's in the spirit of the original show. So each character brings a perspective to the table that'll be very relatable, create great comedy, and um, be a good new environment to have the classic Russo themes and values vivify the show. Um, is Selena the new professor comes? Uh, you're gonna have to watch the show. I cannot confirm nor deny, but um, she's awesome. She's doing big things in the wizard world and I can't wait for you guys to see what those things are. Can we see Hannah Montana crossover? Great question. We're gonna have to bring that up to Disney, see what they say. Um, thank you for the cotton candy and all the gifts. I love it all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, um, okay, the, I have a couple things I brought with me. One is the cover to the new show. This was a letter that my daughter wrote me. When we were filming, I looked over at the audience and um, I saw, thank you, I saw my daughter sitting in the audience and she gave me this. It was her gift to me. My wife wrote down everything she was saying and then she drew these things and she gave it to me. My daughter's four and she's never seen me act before. So it was a really, um, she's seen me direct and she's seen me produce, but she's never seen me act. So uh, getting to make her laugh, getting to perform for her was like 
as a father, the greatest feeling in the world to have my daughter look at me proudly and laugh at me and smile. Greatest feeling in the world. And she wrote me these notes and I'll read them to you. Uh, my wife wrote these down as she was talking. She could barely keep up with how fast she was talking. But the first one is, Papa, I'm loving you really much. I want you to do another show all day. I'm loving your show and you as an actor. Pretty sweet. And then she said, you're always a part of my heart. I hear your heart beating. Me, oh, oh, my, uh, my force can be with you. I think she just watched Star Wars. I hope you, you want to go on a date with me. I hope I'm always your daughter and your princess. I, want, I won't be shy because I love you really much. The heart is the same of yours, me and you. Pia to Papa. Proud, proud Papa. And then her last note to me was, I love you so much and I love you so much to go to heaven. I love this show. Do you love me? <laughs> uh, she kills me. Um, so, you know, getting to, part of this too was like, I have a family and you know, I have, I have three kids now and I wanted to, um, I wanted to, just to be able to bring my family to a, a, a pretty normal and safe work environment and sitcoms are great. Like it's a wonderful environment to have a family with. You can have a regular schedule and that's all, that's all awesome. Um, and, uh, I'm excited for them to go on this journey with me. You know, I, I, every, a lot of people don't bring their family with them when they go do projects, but I wouldn't have it any other way to me, to me, family is, absolutely everything and, and the whole point of my job is to serve my family ultimately and try to try to be be the best dad possible for them to to, to provide and um and to uh you know do what i can as a father so to me i, I bring them with me everywhere I, I i wouldn't be able to think properly if i didn't have them with me like they're they're the reason i'm doing there's they're the reason i do what i do so i um i had to have them there um so I want to go back to some questions now. Uh, I'm excited to uh, uh, excited to share some of those stories. I might repeat some of the story later because I know some people are just signing on. But I gave the whole at the beginning of this. I gave the whole reasoning for uh, the genesis of the sequel and how it came about. It came about in a really organic way with me and Selena just hanging out with my wife and drinking wine, talking over the years and uh, about what mattered. Uh, uh, talking over the years about our past experiences on the show and the common feedback we'd get from fans largely revolving around how much the Russos meant to them, that, that we were a family that maybe they never had. If you came from a broken household, we became a, an extended part of their family and gave them a sense of love and support that maybe they didn't have at home. And that's the power of story. And that's the be beauty of storytelling. And we wanted to do that in a whole new way. It's a universal theme and value that we wanted to do in a whole new way. So I want to communicate to the, the fans that there was a very careful, what's going on? Did I just have a... I've never done this before, so I don't understand all these TikTok things, but it's cool, but I don't understand. Um, so we wanted, to, we wanted to give those universal themes back to the world yet again, and that was the main driver here. And I wanted to communicate to the, everyone out there that there's been a lot of careful, what, is, what are these things? I can't even talk, but I'm putting helmets on and mustaches and hats and what is going on here? But they're cool, thank you. Um, Chanel and Chantel and Amelia and everyone giving them to me, thank you very much. Um, I'll say hi to Alexa, Amelia. Look at all these cool people. Far Farah, one, two, three, four. All these awesome people. Thank you very much. Love you, love you, love you. Um, so, what was I saying? The, the the the. See, I'm not. I'm too old for. I got. I got to learn this this TikTok back and forth thing. I'm picking it up. Though. I'm picking it up quickly. Look at all these party favors. It's all roses, 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 roses. It's like, what is going on here? What do the roses even mean? What does everything mean? I don't understand, but thank you. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Need a little edification here, okay? You guys can help teach me. Um, so, uh, yes, I wanted to say that we're protecting the spirit of the original show. I wanna communicate that very heavily. We're protecting the spirit of the original show. Their new writers are awesome. Their, their names are Jed and Scott, and um, their kids were the biggest fans of Wizards of Waverly Place. So we genuinely have two guys who are um, starting off the writing that were the biggest fans of the shows and their kids were the biggest fans of the show. So we, we have that, uh, I think healthy admiration of the original that's needed to, to protect the integrity of the original show. Um, want to communicate that, communicate that very clearly. Um, okay. So back to some questions here. Um, whoa, 
Can you guys see when they put things on my face? Can you guys see that? Does everyone see that? That poor old lady, someone wanted me to say, I don't know why. Um, oh, was that poor old lady a line I said in Grown Ups 2? Yeah, I think it was. Um, thanks for the roses, thanks for that. Oh, hey, 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 hey. when you guys put things on my head, can you see them? How does it work? Can you see the things on my head? I feel like such an old man. Um, whoa. Are you guys, okay, you are seeing the things on my head. That's hilarious. Um, how I Met Your Mother, yes. You guys like How I Met Your Mother? I just got some How I Met Your Mother comments. You guys like that show? I knew the ending for the whole time. I was, um, I was a young man and uh, they, on How I Met Your Mother, they would, um, I was young and I was going through puberty and I was growing and in the show, I'm supposed to be the same age all the time. Cause he's telling the story to me and my sister sitting on the couch. We were sitting like this, I was here, she was there and the dad's telling me a story and it's supposed to be the same time always. And so we're shooting it, you know, I'm getting older and they realize he's not gonna look the same very quickly, he's going through puberty. So they shot a bunch of episodes, what would, just what if episodes. They didn't, even, they didn't even have them written. They, weren't, they didn't know the show was gonna go nine, ten, nine, nine years, however long it went. They didn't know that. Um, so they shot what if reactions, what if episodes, and one of them is what they thought the ending of the show would be. So from like season two, I had a very strong idea of where the show was headed. They knew it was gonna get back to Robin somehow, but it was crazy, we're on set, we're getting ready to shoot, and they start recording the cameras and there's all these people around because when you shoot a show, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because when you're shooting a show, um, there's lots of people. And if they're telling me the ending of the show, it's a big secret, right? So they come in with a NDA and they go, here, you guys have to sign this. They start recording the cameras and then the whole set evacuates. Everyone evacuated from the set of How I Met Your Mother. Everyone evacuates. It's just me, the, the, the two showrunners, and my sister. And they go, look, we don't, we don't, we don't think we, we're not sure we know, but we think it's got something to do with Robin. It's got to be Robin, right? We got to get back to Robin. And so that, that's what I was told, uh, in the second season. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, okay. So back to the questions here. Any other questions I want, I, I want to answer all the questions that you guys have. Um, I'm trying to think of some fun memories to, uh, some other fun memories to, to, to share with you guys. Um, Will JT Austin be in it? He is going, uh, he, he just tweeted, we, first of all, we want everyone to be in the show. Absolutely everyone to be in the show. So everyone is welcome and we want them all to be on. We wanna have a lot of fun with them. Um, he posted the other day, in fact, that he wants to, he's excited for it and wants to, wants to be back. So I loved, I loved hearing that. Um, and I wanna show you guys some pictures from set a little behind the scenes, okay? Uh, where's, where's, I have my iPad in front of me here. I'm gonna show you guys some behind the scenes that I'm allowed to share um, and tell you guys a little bit about the cast because we have a wonderful, wonderful cast. Oh, hello. Yes, hi. We have a wonderful cast that we got so lucky to have and they're, they're, they're wonderfully talented actors. So good. Like these kids are so good. I can't wait for you guys to see them, especially my boys, my wife. They're incredible. They're incredible people. Um, Yes, yes. Uh, Robin and Bonnie were cute together. Thank, yeah, they were so good. I loved, I loved them. Um, okay, where is the picture? I was gonna show you. So, I'm actually gonna post this next week. Um, but this was the. Hold on, can't show you that one. Um, that is too behind the scenes. Way too behind the scenes. Uh, this was our, by the way, this just popped up. This was my hairdresser in Wizards of Waverly Place and me and Selena back in the day. She sent me this, her name is Roxy. And that was the three of us back in the day when we were little kids. So it's fun to get to, she cut my hair for the pilot. She, uh, the original hairdresser cut my hair and then she sent me that picture. It's like, aw. Um, okay, let me find, where was the picture I'm looking for? Hold on here. Oh, we're coming up to it. We're coming up to it. This was right before a big run through day. And it's so funny. So this is, um, this is the cast. And uh, that's our director, Andy Fickman right there, who's amazing. That's Mimi Giannopoulos, who plays my wife, who's so funny, who I'll tell a funny story about in a minute. Um, actually, she, we did a table read years before, and I'll show you that in a second, which is, which is a funny story, but she's super talented, and turns out I've known her for a long time, but I didn't remember. Um, and then we have uh, Janice, 
and we have Max, and then we have Alkeo, we have Selena, who you guys know. Um, they're so good. This is my oldest boy, and he, he is like a little mini me, looks just like me. Uh, he's got similar mannerisms, similar behavior. He's mini Justin Russo. And then we have Matt, his name is Max. He's not, his character name is not Max. His, um, his character name is Milo and his character name is uh, Roman. But little Milo, so dry, so funny. He's like kid Bill Murray, like just dry, funny, great wit, cracks you up. He looks like Jake T. Austin from the original show. So the Russo genes are living on strong. And then we have Janice, who's wonderful. Um, she is going to be a mega, 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 star, incredibly talented. And she's so humble and sweet and has a wonderful family. And I'm, I'm looking forward to spending, oh, what the heck is that? Thanks, I guess. Um, Jasmine, appreciate the turkey face. Thank you. Um, thank you, Ron. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you all. Um, and so, um, okay, where was I? Uh, and then Andy Fickman, who's wonderful, a wonderful director, like so talented. I worked with him on Mall Cops 2. He directed Mall Cops 2, if any of you have seen that. Um, I met him through Kevin James and he's just a joy and a wonderful human being. We were so lucky to have him. He's directed, he directed Live and Maddie, uh, Mall Cops 2, uh, She's the Man, if any of you have seen that as a little before a lot of your time probably. By the way, how old is everyone on here? I wanna get to know my TikTok demographic. How old is everyone? Send me some ages. Um, and um, yeah, so, so Andy was great. Incredible director, we had a great experience. He killed it. 20, 22, 19, 24, okay, great. Yeah, so you guys are like, were kids when the show came out. 21, got you, Tia, this is a joke, Han Hannah, 15. Okay, great, perfect. You guys are the, you guys are the perfect demographic for, for the original show. That's awesome, I love it, I love it. Um, and then a funny story about uh, Mimi. She, um, I'll just show you the picture. So it's a little out of focus, but she sent me this. So this is, um, that's Betty White, Bob Newhart, Paul Fee, Colin Hanks, Tom Hanks is somewhere in here, Rita Wilson, and there's Mimi down here. It's hard to see, but there's Mimi down there. And um, we did this table read together, and I didn't realize that we're sitting right next to each other. That's me, it's hard to see, but that's me. I didn't realize that we knew each other years ago. I got a call from Rita Wilson to do a table read, and Tom Hanks was there, her husband, and Mimi was there. And we did a table read right next to each other, so we had, uh, uh, known each other for a while, but I, I completely forgot. And I felt like an idiot that I forgot. But um, she was she was so wonderful. She was so wonderful, and she did a she did a phenomenal um, phenomenal job in the pilot. She's so funny, Carnegie Mellon. She's 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 awesome. She is awesome. This is from our cast dinner. We had a wonderful cast dinner that uh, Selena organized for us, and it was really really sweet and really fun together. Um, and uh, Mason and Harper, we'd love for them to come back. Yes, absolutely. I've had some great chats with Greg about it. That was good. Um, oopsies. Hold on. Someone just asked something about Taylor Swift. What? Um, hold on here. Sorry. Sorry. Did you guys? I, I, someone asked me, like, where I saw Taylor Swift. I was at the Super Bowl with her. And um, I went to, well, not with her. I was a guest of Harrison Bucker, the kicker for the Kansas City Chiefs, who's an amazing guy. Just wonderful father, wonderful husband, and incredible athlete, like world-class athlete. Um, he won his third Super Bowl ring, set the record for the longest field goal in Super Bowl history, 57 yards, incredible. Um, and he brought me down on the field afterwards, and I hadn't seen Taylor in like 10 years. Like, in fact, the last time that I saw Taylor, I'll show you that someone got a picture of it. It's pretty funny, David Henry, Taylor, Swift, old photo. Um, I took her and Selena to Jerry's Deli, uh, back in the day, um, in, in, in California. Um, here it is. That was us. That was us back in the day. <laughs> that was when I wore my hair down. Selena wanted me to wear my hair down for a season. That's why. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate the glasses. Marie two, one, five. Um, Selena wanted me to do my hair down for one of the seasons. I think it was like in style or something, but she was like, this is, you should try it down. And she like did it. And I was like, all right, what do I got to lose? Looking back on it, not my best hairstyle. Not my best hairstyle. But this was during that time. So I hadn't seen Taylor Swift in forever. So Harrison brings me on the field after the game. And then he's talking to her and she looks over and she was like, dude, and she gave me a big hug. She's like, blast from the past. 
Uh, we had a nice little chat. She's always incredibly kind and incredibly charismatic. Uh, uh, so that was a fun, fun, fun little story. Um, release date for the show. Release date. Uh, we don't have one yet, but it is going to come up um, eventually. We just did one episode. So we shot the, we shot the first and um, we are editing and getting it all put together and hopefully I'll have some news for you guys very soon uh, about all of that. Um, keep keep writing Disney if you want to see it. Keep letting them know. It, by the way, thank you guys for all the support. Like, we like broke the internet for a day when that announcement came out and it was so good. I can't wait for you guys to see it. The nostalgia, the, the Russo love, the themes, the values, it's all in the spirit of the original show. We, we took very close, um, we, we took a lot of time to make sure that this thing was crafted in the spirit of the original show. It's a new show, but it's in the spirit of the original show. So that way the, 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 the fans, all you guys feel that love. Hey, what's going on? Love that. Thank you, Dejon. Um, so anyways, uh, yeah, um, I'm excited for you guys to see it. So keep writing, and the second I know, I'll let you guys know. And if you guys like spending time here on me, I'll do this more often too. This was this was a blast. I, I have enjoyed answering questions. Is the substation in the reboot? You're just gonna have to watch it. We just you're just gonna have to watch it. Young. Love that. Um, you're just gonna have to watch. There's definitely gonna be some things that you're going to see that's gonna make you probably cry. Um, and I'll leave it at that. That was probably even too much information because you guys are very good at guessing and figuring things out. But there's some things that'll, <laughs> thank you very much, Morgan. Thank you, Joey. Appreciate the roses. Appreciate all the gifts. Appreciate all the love. Um, uh, are you in production? We, we just finished the first one. Can we see the new Wizards logo? Uh, I don't think we can reveal that yet, but it's going to be really cool. Um, are you going to be on the Wizards pod? Yes, I'm definitely going to be on the Wizards pod at some point. We're trying to figure that out as we speak. Um, cry worse than the movie. You might cry similar to the movie. You remember the original movie? All the things that happened, you might cry similarly. But it'll be a different tier, different kind of tears. You'll, you'll have to see. You'll have to see. Um, thank you, Angel. Appreciate the gifts, ice cream, and all the fun. Uh, um, uh, okay, more questions. Uh, Mason and Alex, at some point, like I said, I want everyone in the show. Everyone's going to come back. So you're going to see all sorts of things. We're going to fill in the gaps of time from the original to now. Um, so you're going to see all that. Will you still have powers? You're just going to have to watch. You're just going to have to watch. I think you're going to like it, though. Um, okay. Uh, is... Oh, I can't see the question. Something was there. Thank you for the gifts, though. I really appreciate it. Thank you all. Um, Uncle Kelbo is Sh Shakira. Wasn't that a funny episode? That was so fun to shoot when he was Shakira. Um, I remember the writers were like, we're going to get Shakira, and your, your character is going to think she's really pretty. And I was like, that's going to be the easiest acting I think I've ever had to do in my entire life. That shouldn't be too difficult. I, I think I can do that, guys. Um, where can you watch the show? It's going to be all over Disney. So you can see it on the, the channel, on Disney Plus, on everything. Um, at least that's my understanding right now. Um, it's going to be on everything uh, when, it, when it does come out. But again, we've just done one episode. We're testing, we're editing. So if we get to do the rest, then you'll get to see it all. Um, if we don't, then you won't. And then I'll just be sad. Uh, um, okay. Uh, Teresa and Jerry back. Yes, we definitely want them back. We would love them to come back. Uh, that would be great. That would be very, very great. Disney better not flop. I completely agree. But I assure you, Selena and I have been there every single step of the way, making sure that this is in the spirit of the original show. We poured our blood, sweat, and tears all over this thing to make sure it was done right. The amount of time Selena put in this, I can't, I can't even stress how important this is to her, how important this is to me, and how much time the both of us have spent making sure that this was crafted exactly the way it should be to honor the original show. Otherwise, why do it, right? Because you have the original. The original is there. People are still watching it, and I love talking to you guys about the original show, but it's there. So if we're going to do it, it has to honor that, and it has to be in accord with that. Otherwise, why do it? Um, so we spent a lot of time making sure that it was done right, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Truly, truly can't wait. Um, <clears throat> it's Justin. Oh, wait, I do like Raven's home. Wait, there's so many questions. I can't, I can't. I can't see all the questions. Um, we're not casting yet because we just shot it, but we're going to start casting again um, 
the the new one whenever the whenever we get the order we'll start casting again i'm sure for for the rest of it but casting has been done um i'll, I'll answer a couple more questions because uh we are running short on time what time is it it's 4 30. so i'll do a couple more, more questions and then we'll get to uh we'll we'll call it a day and i'll do this again sometime soon if you guys like this let me know keep commenting let me know um okay so is the intro to the song the same? You know, we haven't worked on that yet. That's a good question I should ask. Um, and we don't have an official title. I know they're asking about the name. We don't have, a, don't have an official title. Um, I won't be one of the show writers. I'm an executive producer, so I'm involved in all of the creating of the episodes and all of the creative. Selena and I both are. So as they're writing episodes, we're reading, we're weighing in, we're discussing with the writers. So every step of the way, we're making sure that the, the spirit of the original show is maintained and it's carried throughout the series. So please trust that and know that we're being very careful and cautious about that. So Selena and I are very involved as executive producers in the entire creative process, but we're not writers, but we're reading everything, noting and approving along the way. Um, I will get to direct on the show, which I'm really excited about because I do love, I love uh, directing. It is, a, it is a true passion and joy. Um, okay, so... Uh, is it going to be on Disney Plus? Like I said, I think whenever we do get the official order and it goes and we shoot them all, it'll be uh, everywhere uh, that Disney is shown. So Disney Plus, Disney Channel, all of it. Um, when is Reagan coming out? I'm actually going next week to promote it. I, I think they're going to announce the date soon, but I believe it's going to be in the summer. That was a really fun project, and I'm excited for you guys to see it. I play young Ronald Reagan with me and Dennis Quaid, and that'll come out sometime this summer. I'm not sure exactly when, but sometime this summer. So that should be a, a good time. Um, okay, questions are flying in. Demographic, young adults, old adults, wait, what does it say demographic? Something about, I couldn't read the question, it flew by so fast. But um, the demographic is gonna be uh, everybody, it's a, it's a both hand. Like we, one of the stories that I shared, and I'll close on this, but one of the stories I shared in the, at the beginning of this was just how the show was, was, was how this show came about. And it really came about from Selene and I really missing the, the original and talking about our characters and getting together and then realizing there's a whole new demographic of kid who's never even seen the show, doesn't even know what the new show is. And one of the things about the original show that made such an impression on Selena and I was that the Russos became family to everyone out there. We became an extended version of your family. We were your brothers, we were your sisters. And to a lot of folks from broken homes, we, we showed them that family can have your back, family can be there, family can be beautiful, and it meant a lot to a lot of people. So we wanted to do that again. That was the impetus for this whole thing, is we wanted to bring back those themes again for the original fan and for a whole new fan, because there's a whole new generation of kid who hasn't gotten to experience the Russos, and we want that love to extend to them as well. The original show's there, it exists, you can watch it. Um, but this new one is gonna be both for the original fan and for a whole new generation of kid to give them that Russo love. So we're really excited about it. It's in the spirit of the original show. You're gonna get all the joy, love, nostalgia, excitement that you want out of this show. All the Easter eggs, we have so much mystery and background plot lines going on for the original fan that's gonna, I think, service you and make you very excited. But at the same time, a new generation of kids gonna be able to watch it and get that classic Russo love. So we're so excited. I love you all. God bless you all. If you wanna do this again, let's do this again. Let me know this was fun and I hope everyone has a great and safe weekend. Cheers and God bless you all. Thank you. I don't know how to sign up. No idea how to sign up, so this is gonna be a little awkward. Um, hmm. Let's just take a look here. All right, there's comments about me. Um, hmm, pause live. Okay, let's start there. Your live will freeze after you pause each side. So you do three minutes each time. Um, there's a power button. Let's press that. Oh, and live. Here we go. Okay, bye.